pretending doing a build battle? Yes, we are. Please make a pastel palace build off. Well, we won't be doing pastel palace, but we will be doing some pastel colors in this build off. Hi there, Panda Landis. Today we're going to be doing another build battle, but today I have here the best, Ken Z. Hi, Panda Landis. A pastel bedroom plus a bathroom is what we are going to be doing. Yes. I will give her my whole budget to be fair, and that is eight hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. So she's welcome to do whatever she'd like. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Kenzie Plays. Which side do you want, Kenzie? Left or right? Oh, I really want left. So Kenzie picked the left side, so I'm going to be building on the right side. So let's start out. First, I did the like outline, but I didn't really like it because it was too big at first and too small. So I just played around with it a lot. myself not to use a lot of grays in this build except for like the carpet maybe and also lots of whites as you see when I start coloring everything I play around with lots of colors like pink purple blue green all those pastel colors because I want it to all match well it's not gonna match but all look really cool I also set up a divider from the entrance and made an outline for a little closet in the room well, this is a much bigger closet. I don't know. You'll just watch and see. Pretty much for this whole build, I just play around with materials, objects, and color because this isn't my really strength in building like a different type of pastel like color mine is more modern and all those things but I wanted to challenge myself and I'm sure Kenzie will be a perfect partner as she's building over there if you didn't guess at the moment I am working on the closet In my opinion, these bright pink lights look awesome. put in a hammock, one of my favorite additions to the newest update, and then I put in plants of course. Okay, I know you guys will comment down below, whoa there's lots of plants in all your builds. Uh, please take that out. I actually enjoy because I feel like nature brings it like the room or wherever you're putting it, make it lively or whatever. So that's my opinion, you're always welcome to switch it out for anything else and I wanted to make the hammock a little bit more matching to everything. So that's why I added in lots of plants. Because this bedroom 
bedroom has lots of plants or I just want sunlight, I'm putting in lots of windows or as many as I can as possible because windows are a necessity. I'm not sure if I said that word right, but I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Ooh, 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 and here are my favorite fairy lights. I also added in these cool closet doors because who doesn't want like a window closet door unless you're like changing but I mean like you can go to the bathroom and change right? I also felt like I never used guitars in any of my build and it looked really cool here so I added that in. I don't know why I put in a couch there, I thought it looked pretty cool and one more extra person could sit there, who knows. And this is also the outline for the bathroom, I play around with lots of colors because I didn't know if I liked the green. I started growing on the color yellow after this build because I used to not like yellow that much but now it looks really cool in Bloxburg. I could say it's another one of my favorite colors. Then. Since you guys really like the tumbler bathroom that I did in my previous build, I decided to make the bathtub similar but a little bit different since I had minimum space but we tried. You can always change it if you don't like it. I wanted to take a look at the outside of Kenzie's bedroom and might I say that roof is pretty imaginative. I really like how it, hers turned out. But I did not cheat by looking inside her house for any ideas. I'm just saying that for you guys to know. Also, I never thought of, her, of a purple uh, bathtub, have you? Well, now you have seen one in Bloxburg. I was soon realizing I didn't really have a lot of space so I added in one sink and I tried doing something different with some mirrors different from my other builds and I actually really like how it turned out. I added all different color for the outline of the mirrors even though they look a little bit laggy you could always fix that. I really love how the colors just change up like pastel and it matches with the whole house. Here we go with more plants. Whoa, 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 before you say anything, I know I put in a glass door that you could see through, but to make sure, the bathtub and the toilet are not visible from that doorway. So you still have privacy, and this is your bedroom, which is your own very bathroom, but if you're not really liking it, you could change that if you rebuild this. I also felt like the lights should change up color. I wasn't a big fan of how they turned out, but I kept it that way. So I would always go with the white and pinks, but since I was trained as much as I could to get away from white, I just changed up random colors. Please don't ask why there are random mugs inside the bathroom on a bookshelf because we needed some more decoration so I'm like why not add mugs and yes I know we have like four different soap jars but what if one runs out and you're too lazy to go to the store and buy one? You always be prepared with Panda.
with this alarm clock. Enjoy watching me struggle. <laughs> up I just use these to the next level look at these log seats being used as a frame for the bed I thought I was the best imaginative whatever it's called <laughs> just okay that was a little bit overreacting but I really like how that turned out I've never seen it before so I just included that in and you're always welcome to use any ideas that I put in my build because I do these builds for you guys to be inspired I decided we needed a desk area for homework or whatever else you want to do like using the computer I know it's a little bit cramped but I felt like this was a necessity for the room <coughs> <More plans. coughs> At this point, I was just randomizing where the colors go and literally I just put them everywhere like, this is pastel, great color use, now let's put it there. And now I move on to the closet, I felt like this space was a little bit empty so I added in a bookshelf and a little drawer and a mirror of course. We had so many people watching me and Kenzie build so I decided to be nice to them and add in seats. I kind of felt a little bit bad and I needed to guess them so that's why I went out of build mode and made a party for everyone. Now I just put in windows wherever I could find space and it looked right. In one of my other builds, I didn't put windows in my bathroom, so someone in the comments said, Why don't you put windows in the bathroom? You can't see anything. And I'm like, some people complain when I put windows in the bathroom for no privacy. So I decided to put windows up at the top. You're welcome to everyone who wanted windows, and you're welcome to everyone who needed privacy. Wait a second, while I was building, I saw this. Kenzie was apparently done with her build, and she decided to make a red carpet for all my fans. 
because she is absolutely amazing. I'm sure they absolutely loved it too. So I was pretty much done with my build, then I saw Kenzie had an outside decoration and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't lose this build battle. So I needed to do an outside decoration even though I wasn't planning on it. So that's what I did. I guess it turned out pretty pastel-like, but not that much. At least I tried. I was kind of in a rush because I felt bad for everyone waiting on me because I was the last one to be finished between me and Kenzie. For the color pattern, I used the same colors that were inside the bedroom. I also felt like some of these curtains would look really good to top off the build. Hey. I kind of didn't like how the flat roof was and since in my dorm room build battle with Alyssa, people said they didn't like the flat roof so I decided to change it up. Then I added in these lights. I don't think they really matched with the bedroom or the outside of it. But you know what? I really love this update with the lights that I always wanted so I decided to add them in. Cause like, why not? <laughs> At this moment, I was just randomly coloring everything, placing out random plants everywhere. Literally, uh, I was in such a rush because I felt really bad. Everyone was waiting for me for at least another 15 minutes after Kenzie was done. Hey, are you okay over there? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm fine. Um, you're almost done with the build, right? I'm kind of stuck out here inside the build mode. Yes, I'm almost done. decided to make a mini garden outside of the room. Then with adding in some more trees, I thought it gave it some color and shape. I also colored the trees to match the build, making them pink, yellow, green, I don't even know anymore. Literally coloring everything randomly. Looks like we're about done. Time for the tour! Welcome to my bedroom. Sup to Panda, she's amazing. Sup to her. Don't mind me, just taking a friendly shower in this warm water. Splash, splash, diddly do.
beautiful clothing for this pastel day. Wait, Panda, pretend I'm not here. I'm just gonna walk through this door just to go to my house. I'll meet you there. Welcome to Kenzie's build. Sub to Panda and like this video. Make sure to subscribe to The Panda Girl and become part of the Panda Squad. Subscribe to Panda and Kenzie. <laughs> splash, splash, river ducky, squeak, squeak. Oh, Panda's here. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the Panda Girl and Kenzie Plays on YouTube. Comment who you think won, Panda or Kenzie. I'm gonna lose. Bye. Bye bye, Panda yeah. Habitat. Oh, bye. Oh, guys. Bye bye. bye bye. Whoa, hold up. After Kenzie and I finished building, someone told me they had a surprise. Panda, you coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, Sadie. Wait, what is this? Hi, zoom out. Hmm, zoom out? Oh, <gasps> it says, I love Panda. Oh, that's so sweet, Sadie. I love it so much. I can't believe you surprised me this. I had no idea what you were doing. I absolutely love you. Okay, guys, let's play some tag. Kenzie, you're it. <laughs> Kenzie's it. Ah, I got you, Panda. No, you didn't. I jumped before you. Kenzie, you can't catch me. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Kenzie, don't do that to me! Careful, Panda! Panda. I got you! You're oh, it! Oh no, she got me! Run! Oh no, she's right behind me! Go, go, Panda! Ah, she's right behind me! My short fat legs are moving! That's no! Careful, ah, tag! You're hit! <laughs> oh no, I got tagged again! OMQ, you're hit! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that little tag game. We had so much fun. part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye!